Welcome back. In my last video, I talked about how I got a letter from my home insurance company with a list of three demands. One of them was to get a five-year roof certificate so they know my roof is good for another five years or replace my roof if that weren't the case. Does this roof look bad to you? So in this video, I'll talk about what I'm doing to deal with that situation. I called around to different roofing companies to ask about this five-year roof certificate and most of them hadn't heard of it, but one of them pointed me to a larger one who does in fact give five-year roof certificates, but they cost $750. Because that's a big chunk of cash, I emailed the insurance agent to say, hey, can you give me some reasons for why you think my roof needs replacement? And in return, she sent me a photo of my front porch roof taken from across the street where you can see some moss growing on the bottom ends of the shingles. Now, I live in the Pacific Northwest, so moss is not a strange thing to see on roofs. And I asked again, why is moss a reason to have me spend $750 to have a roof certificate or replace my roof? And that's when she replied, well, your roof is 20 years old. So if you don't want to spend $750 on the certificate, just replace it. So this is my roof that's supposedly in such bad shape. And this is my neighbor's roof that was just replaced a couple months ago. I don't see that much of a difference except for this slight line of moss on mine. What I also find really annoying about this situation is what if my roof is good for another four years? I just have to replace it now? That just doesn't make sense to me. I've been so annoyed about this letter, particularly with its demands about the roof situation because I find it so unreasonable that I've been looking for other home insurance companies to give me coverage. Unfortunately, I had an issue with my sewer line last year, and so I asked my home insurance company if they could cover it. And in answering that question, they opened a claim. So what does this mean? It means that I now have a claim history, even though it is for zero dollars. So now when I've approached other home insurance companies to ask for a quote, they see that I have a claim history, and they refuse to go any further. So I am essentially stuck with my current insurance company. From what I've read online, this is a common practice that they do. So if you're ever talking to your insurance company, asking a question about your coverage and your policy, make sure that you're only asking a question and not opening a claim. One of the other home insurance companies I spoke to told me I might be able to dispute this claim with the LexisNexis database that maintains a history of everyone's home insurance claims. So I went to the LexisNexis website where it says to call a number. Thank you for calling the LexisNexis Risk Solutions Consumer Center. Press 2 if you would like to proceed. The menu is pretty confusing and it never seemed to mention disputing a claim. And then it in fact says to go to the website. For all other requests, please visit our website at consumer.risk.lexisnexis.com. And when I go to the website, it says to call the number. So it turns out it's just this wild goose chase and I have had no luck so far. So the roofer is coming today to inspect the roof and we're gonna go through the window of the attic to access the very top part of the roof. So let's see how it goes. All right, there's my window to get out on the roof. That's not very wide. I don't like this. So here's the west side of my roof. And I was a roofer for a summer in college. And so that doesn't make me an expert by any means but I do have eyes and I can see that this roof is in good shape. Here's the north side, which gets the least sun and this is the most moss that it has. So the roof inspector, as soon as he saw this, said this roof is good probably for another 10 years. I can't tell you how frustrating this is to have the insurance company just tell me my roof is showing signs of deterioration. It's, uh. So unfortunately they don't give 10 year roof certificates but he did say they do give three year roof certificates. So there was a little wiggle room probably if the roof had been in worse condition. So in the end, I ended up paying $750 plus tax. So it was about $825 for the certificate to appease my insurance company. I sent it to the underwriter and she has accepted it. And so the last thing I have to do is repair some parts of the siding where there are cracked pieces. So it's a damaged siding like this that I need to repair in a few places. And hopefully once I'm done with that, I will be done with this whole insurance letter full of demands business. And that will be a happy day. So I hope you can join me next time. Hey, I'm Dan and my mom and I bought some land out in the countryside to build a house. 
And to help with that, we thought we should have a trailer. So why not renovate a 1949 Spartan Manor? So if you want to see how these go, plus some other random DIY stuff, subscribe and follow along.